Okay, so now we are going to talk about how to optimize a decision tree. Um, so first, let us try to validate the decision tree. So we will see how it performs on a test data set. Right? So we uh, are going to split our data into training and test sets. Right? So 120 goes into training and 40 goes into the test set. And then we are going to train a new decision tree on uh, on the training data. And it may look quite differently from uh, the decision tree trained on the whole uh, data. Yeah, you, you, you can just, I don't know, open the initial, uh, the, the first decision tree and compare. So do they look same or do they look different? And, and you see that they, they're quite, quite different. So the mean squared error on the training set, so the, the training error is this number and the test set is, well, much bigger. So the training, um, sorry, the test error is much bigger. So uh, what we see is that decision trees are highly sensitive to changes in the training data. And this is true, you, you can try to make experiments. So they, they are very sensitive and they very often, they do not generalize well to test data, although, this is probably because um, our entire data set is very small here, right? So if you did that for a data set that contains thousands of records, it, it would be much better, believe me. But still, uh, this is a problem for decision trees. So, but why do we even care about decision trees? Is because decision trees are very, very interpretable. So probably they are, maybe are even easier to, to, to explain to, to people than linear models. They're very easy to understand. Uh, and so another advantage is that decision trees uh, allow for a nice method of variable selection. So we can measure importance of variables with decision trees. So how to deal with this, we are going to learn in the next part. Now, please do this quiz three.